công tại Los Angeles, California, Hoa Kỳ. Master has to do every single thing yourself. Yeah, I have to. I clean and wash my kitchen and my room. I don't complain. Huh? I'm just telling you that I'm lazy and busy, and it's not just a meditation sitting time, which is more, much more than before. I mean, apart from normal meditation, like you know, like initiated funny method. Apart from that. Last time, I want to tell you, just some 15 minutes in order for the connection we are to. And this time, not this time, long hours, huh? Different, different uh, projects. Understand? Yes, ah, master. yes, Master. And then, uh, before that, the same with the art school connection before, before meditation, I had to prepare. Not just one hour sit, no, no, before that. I mean, the day before, I had to begin already preparing myself. Wow. To make sure my body is fit enough for that, number one. And then I have to do research, to meditate, special to research on where this location will be and what hour that location will be open for me and how long I have to sit there. Not one second more, not one second less. Do you understand us, oh, yes? Yeah? Yes, Master. So, uh, it takes a lot of time and effort. It's not just the sitting. Sitting is the easier part. And even as already it's the time now, it's stretching like it's thinking it is very exasperating for, for the mind and the body. Oh, I see. Uh, but uh, what to do? Okay? So that's why I don't think of poetry or, or songs or anything at the moment. Too busy. Understand, Master. I have to do research, okay, and then have to translate the cosmic power into the agreeable power so that my body can absorb it. And then have to translate the cosmic term of that power into English, approximately, so that my mind, my body, the cells, will understand that and will test it without harm and without wasting. Do you understand? Yes, yes, Master. Yes. It's not just, okay, now, 9 o'clock, go to 3 o'clock, go to It's not like that. I have to plan in advance. I see. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Master, for sharing with us. Now you know. And then, uh, even then, sometimes my body uh, revolves. Like, for example, last night, after eating, or oh, even not eating. I have heartburn, you know, just so... Oh, no. Good, I wrote it here. I wrote it here. I gained heartburn and apple is good. Oh. It's one of the tips for you. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. If you have heartburn or just so... Oh, no, I said heartburn. Maybe just my case. I don't know if it works for you. I have nothing, so I just eat an apple. I feel like I should eat an apple, and I know it will help me, and then it did help. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, Master, earlier we were speaking about your wonderful songs and poetry, and there's actually been some exciting things happening um, regarding that. Uh, thousands of people are getting in touch with your poetry now, Master. We are reaching out to centers and also Loving Huts and Initiates restaurants to hold Loving the Silent Tears uh, screening events for the public. One screening. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and um, one screening had an audience of 1,400 people. And another center screened at a 500 seat auditorium, but they still had to add in a lot of extra temporary chairs just to accommodate everyone. Wow. Yes, and another small city uh, had almost double the expected turnout that they sat in the aisles, Master. Oh. Yes, Sorry. and um, in the interviews after the show, you can see the people, the members of the public, tearing up with emotion 
they said that the show was so meaningful and purifying and they really love Master's uh, deep lyrics like loving the silent tears more than the diamonds of the world, take each other's yeah. hand. They said that the words from your poems like stay with them. Um, wow. And yes, and in fact, at one screening with nearly 700 attendees, the people said they've never seen such a wonderful video in their lifetime. And Mr. Wow. several people even asked for initiation after that. Wow. What idea? That's a good idea. Whose idea? Your guys' idea. Your blessings just inspire them to share this with the world. Please thank him for me. Yes, Master. Um, we've also been reaching out to the Loving Huts, other restaurants, and the centers um, to encourage them to screen the musical for the public out there. And um, some centers have been starting to do the screenings on their own. Yeah, good idea. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Master. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we'll, we'll do it. We have good idea. Thank you. Yes, your inspiration, yeah. Master. We have to think for Yes, and also, Master, um, with these screenings going on, um, the media, in more than one case, the media approached the screening organizers because they wanted to pre-announce the event on their own. And um, so people seem to really be embracing God's uplifting power at this time. Oh, good. Good. good for them. Good for the world. Yes. Um, and Master, there's some other good news we'd like to share from around the world, if if you'd like. Mm, please, I'd like to hear. One example is um, there's some very nice news that has come out of the um, the the recent COP20, um, which was this past December in Peru for the uh, Climate Master. Ah. Actually, the United Nations, the Secretary General Ban Ki Moon, and two other officials they prepared a vegetarian dish for a sustainable cooking demonstration. And it was supposed, yes, and it was supposed to be a, um, a f very famous native Peruvian fish dish, but they substitute the fish for mushrooms instead. And oh, they should know that we love and food have vegan fish and it tastes delicious. Yes, oh, yes, yes, master. Wow, you know, we forgot to advertise love and food. I have company for loving food. We make food uh, like uh, vegan fish. It looks like fish and tastes beautiful. And vegan shrimp and all that. We didn't advertise all that, right? Oh, no. So, uh, right, Master. In some of my cooking, I put some vegan shrimp there. And that's why, because I was abroad, I, didn't, I wasn't in Taiwan. The company is in Taiwan. And I didn't have enough uh, material with me. I didn't have enough food from the company with me. I guess that's why we didn't have it. Other companies don't have this, you know. I mean, right. in Europe or America, they don't have. But the loving foods have this beautiful, look alike fish. It's delicious. Maybe you can take some picture and put up on our internet so people know that they are sustainable. It's good. Yes, Master. Mm. Oh, Mr. Bunky Moon. If you come to my house, I would cook that real vegan food. I would cook for him. <laughs> oh, I think he'd love that. I mean, real vegan food dishes don't have to cook with mushroom. Mushroom don't look mushroom and taste like it. It's beautiful. You know, it don't taste like it. It just tastes beautiful. Yes, Master. And actually, the, the chefs that prepared the meal were very famous chefs within Peru. Wow, okay. Wow. Mr. Ban Ki Moon and Mr. Al uh, and some other uh, big people, they even went on the uh, demonstration march, huh? Eh? Oh, yes, Master. Yeah. For climate change, huh? Uh, demanding more solutions, more uh, practical solutions to stop climate change. They even went down and took the stuff like that. I saw that on the internet. I was very touched. If you ever see them or how you can get in touch with them, please tell them. I thank them from the bottom of my heart for being such an exemplary leader. At least Mr. Al Gore, you know, the former vice president, and yes. Mr. Basti Moon. I think maybe uh, some famous people. 
I heard that DiCaprio. Oh, yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio, master. Yeah, I heard that he is also joining the crowd. Yes, master. Please thank the He actually produced a, uh, a, f a film on climate change, a documentary. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah. You see, everybody is uh, on board right now. I hope it's rolling back and people in the media should help to stop climate change and broadcast a more positive approach to that and more environmentally friendly project. Even the, the president of COP20, who's the Peruvian Minister of the Environment, um, his name is Manuel Polgar Vidal, um, and also the Executive Secretary of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, or UNFCCC, Cristiana Figueres, uh, they also participated. Um, and so altogether, they really, really sent a clear message to the delegates about eco-friendly eating master. Oh, bravo. Good for them. Thank you. Thank them so much. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to these people. Yeah, the leaders should make a sample. You know, like Mr. Bantini and Al Gore. Al Gore, vegetarian and Norwegian now. And they should send more messages than most people. These people, they have high positions in the world. And their world is... Oh. That's, that's true, Master. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Master. The head of the UNFCCC, Christiana Figueres, um, she also visited the Loving Hut booth at the COP20, Master. And she said that she knew of our association and what we do, and she thanked us very much for coming many times to the COPs. Oh, really? That's wonderful. And also the uh, former First Lady of Peru, Pilar Norez de Garcia, and the Mayor of the capital city, Lima, um, Susana Villarin, who is mostly vegetarian. Um, they also came by the booth and tasted our food. And they both expressed keen interest in being vegan for the planet. Ah, good. Next time you remember, tell them to bring some, some fish and shrimp, you know, the vegan shrimp. Vegan fish from uh, Loving Hood. I tell them to send some, okay? Yes, Master, they will all enjoy it. We're very sure about that. Well, there will be more enjoyment for them so that people know that they will miss nothing when they become vegan. We have vegan cheese, delicious, vegan fish, vegan shrimp, vegan ham, vegan burgers, vegan chicken, vegan nuggets, vegan, oh, whatever. Vegan, yes, Master, everything. Yeah. Yeah, even just in my own small company like that, we produce so many things. Vegan uh, mayonnaise, you know, delicious and fragrant. Oh, Taiwan people, they are so lucky. Yes, Master. And um, the, uh, the U.S. ambassador to Peru, Brian Nichols, um, he spent time to talk and um, all these dignitaries just loved receiving the, the gifts of Master's books and DVDs that were given to them. What kind of DVD did you give? What kind of books? Uh, Master's teachings books, um, Crisis to Peace was also given, um, Loving the Silent Tears, the DVD. Yes, okay. Yes, and they, they show great appreciation for all that, Master. Okay. I hope they enjoy and have uh, take time to, to read or to look at them. Yes, Master. It's probably help them to relax and to think of what's the best thing to do for themselves and their planet. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you all of you for all this effort. Yes, thank you. Actually, the, the Loving Heart booth was really a crowded hotspot there for the public and also for the media. <laughs> And there were long lines um, of people lined up for tasting the beautiful vegan food. But what kind of food there? That's the thing. Did they have worthy food for them or just... It, it was lo Loving Hut Food Master, so it, I'm sure it was just delicious. Thousands of sandwiches, uh, sushi, uh, summer rolls and desserts were served to everyone, from the UN ministers to the NGO staff, journalists and even the security guards and police and military officers. And on the last day, Master, this one police officer and a security guard told our people 
because of you, I've become vegan. Ah, Okay, but I don't know. I love in Hood have uh, vegan fish or not? Uh, vegan oh. shrimp or not? Uh, vegan shrimp. I think they do, but vegan fish, I, I don't remember. You see, the problem is I don't go to love in Hood myself. Uh, only uh, uh, once or twice. Because I don't live near. Mostly I don't live near any love in Hood at all. Yeah. I live in mountain or, you know. <laughs> River or forest area, I have to go there to meditate. And not because the uh, mountain forest, but because the connection is there. So I have to go and the, the loving hoods are mostly in the city, you know? So I don't have a chance. I used to taste all the loving hood food before they come out. <laughs> I have to taste them first, you know? To see okay or not okay, but I'm not sure if they, they keep the food that I tasted and say, okay, or they change them, depends on the location, country. Well, I just hope that they had really worthy food to offer to all these distinguished people who came to talk plenty, right? Yeah. Yes, Master. Well, it seems that it was very popular with long lines of people lining up to taste the food. Wow. And, okay. and even after the food was gone, people still hung around the booth and were talking about the vegan diet and also discussing Master's teachings. Okay. And this, this is for the camera. Yes, Master. We should do more of these kind of booths everywhere so people can taste and understand more about vegan diet. This is good for the world and good for them. Yes. The uh, media, um, they also interviewed the booth and they aired and printed reports about the vegan answer for climate change. And, oh. of course, Master, these are the solutions that, that you have been advocating since many, many years ago. Yeah. It's just, it's just even though it's too, too little for my life, it's better than nothing. Yes. I see the media change more now. They must even advertise vegetarian vegan on TV. Yes. That's right, Master. And uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, she even advertised for one of the uh, vegetarian food uh, brands. Oh, Gwyneth really? Paltrow, uh, the great uh, movie star. Uh, actress, yes, Master. Yeah. She even does that on her own name, on reputation, too. Yeah. Yes, Master, great. It's also very encouraging to hear that um, His Holiness uh, Pope Francis is also speaking out on climate change these days um, on both moral and scientific grounds. And he's calling on world leaders right now to be more courageous at the next COP. And he actually will be soon publishing a formal message to be delivered to Catholics all over the world, urging them to take action um, on climate change as an obligation to protect Mother Earth. To be vegan? to take action on climate change, Master, to protect Mother well, Earth. Well, what action could be better than vegan? Yes, Master. It's even saying the Bible, the first thing, you know? Yes. God makes all the herbs and the fruits and the vegetables and the fuels that shall be your food. God doesn't say, I make animals to be your food. I, I, I don't remember anything like that in the Bible, except for, you know, <laughs> vegetarian is your food. You know, vegan. Yeah. Yes, Master. 